So you're recording on that one. Good morning, everybody. This is a chat with Glendor and Amanda Johnson and I are going to play you our voice voicemail. You have. You like the kitty cat? You have four saved voice messages. First voice message.
Uh, the Sunshine. bank account is all mixed Sunshine. up, honey. Uh, be patient. I hope to have Sunshine. it in, uh, in, in working order by the 4th of March. I will not be coming into the bank okay. anymore because I, uh, I don't know if I told you. I, I totally can't see now except for flashes of light from the window, something like that. So I won't be coming into the bank anymore. I'll do what you told me to do. Mark them for deposit only and send them in the mail to you. And then when you say they're clear, we will uh, take any withdrawals, as you said, out of the ATM, honey. And I have a person who can do that for me, dear. Uh, that's a hasty uh, summary that I'll expatiate upon later. Uh, grace and peace unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That's your message right now. Thank you. Your message is in fact. Torrey sent message right now. Thank you. Your message is in fact. Is this a reply message? Are we erasing it, babe? No, I think it's recorded. Do you hear more options? Press zero. So I'll save it. Yes, save it. We'll play it again. To listen to your messages, press 1. Thursday, February 23rd at 2.30 p.m. from 5, 1, 8, 6, 1, 6. Duration, 1 minute, 28 seconds. the tree branch shadow. Season. Yes, it's awful how dumb people can be, isn't it, Leafy? Forty. Uh, well, I'm glad you're there to straighten them out. For daylight. Thank you for such a good report, Forty and I look nighttime. forward to more. Bye-bye. To send your message. Thank you. Your message is for sent. Forty-three. Right, for message right, message right, message. Right. Forty-four. Message for right. generosity of time. Next message. Greeting with your telephone number, press 1. To select a standard greeting with your name, your greeting. 
Hey folks, it's Glendora. No, no, Why no, 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 no. did the prince ask his daddy to go to kindergarten with him? The teacher said, bring a ruler to school. If you are satisfied with your greeting, press pound. You... Nice Personal job, Amanda. Option. Nice job, honey. Every time you pass right. your money, so your voicemail is done. So we've done one, we've made. done two calls, because voicemail is a call, and, and, and we did Leafy, and right. we did Tracy. We and did three anyway. calls. So, so now we go to the uh, uh, contacts folder, honey, the pretty folder. Tracy and Leaf we called. And also voicemail. So three, voicemail. Yeah, we did three. You really got that cleaned up. I try, Glenny. I try to keep everything up to date for you. So uh -huh. we... uh -huh. How about we turn off the uh, camcorder? Of course. <sighs> hey, folks. Do you like our new efforts of trying to uh, uh, get along with no eyesight and still keep this great enterprise going? Uh, you in the world and helping others. Uh, I asked Amy's Kitchen, the vegan people, if they had any new products to tell you about and they cooperated very nicely and here's my pal Amanda to read you a list of the new Amy products. So today we have for the new products are vegan tortilla casserole with cheese, a vegan broccoli and cheese bake, vegan chili uh, mac and cheese, a vegan Mexican casserole with cheese, gluten-free vegan meatless pepperoni pizza, vegan pas pesto and roasted artichokes veggie crusted pizza, um, vegan supreme pizza. Oh, those all sound good to me, don't they to you, Amanda? They sure do. Yeah. Okay, folks, that's it for today. to tell you here, uh, Glenny cannot see anymore, uh, and it's a, a difference in life, but it's very challenging, and the successes of the new life are gratifying, and it's cheer instead of gloom, Bob. I want to know about the major forces in your life. So please call me again, and I'll keep calling you. Thank you.
Pandora Beal. Your name has been recorded as Pandora Beal. Oh, it just has to have that bunny. Then we do your personal ones. To change administrative options, press two. To record greetings, press three. Greetings. To change your personal greeting, press one. To, to select a standard greeting with your telephone number, mm -hmm. press one. To select a standard greeting with your name, press two. Personal greeting, press three. Two. Your greeting has been recorded as. Uh, folks, the adjustment to no eyesight uh, progresses uh, with great encouragement. Uh, you think you wouldn't find joy in this, would you? But you do because you, uh, you learn. And when you learn and are able to adjust to it, there's great satisfaction in there. The husband says, this donut is so strong, it could walk over and say hello to the coffee. And the wife said, the coffee is too weak to answer. If you are satisfied with your greeting, press pound. Personal option. Thank you. You're welcome, love. Now, we, could you put Bob's number on a big piece of paper? Yep, I sure can. Do you want me to also put him in your phone? I think he, oh, excuse me, I think he is. Would it be under Bob K? Uh, I can look right now. Yes, I would like it in the phone. It is not in the phone, baby. I'm going to oh, put it in the phone for you. What are we putting it as, Bob K? Yeah, Bob K. And it's one, eight, four, five. Two five five nine four six six. Is this got shut off, huh? I just turned. I muted it for a second, baby, sure. so you can hear your thing. Here, let me see. Yeah. We're gonna hit the center button right here. Okay, thanks. So Thank you. You're welcome. So Bob K is in there for you now, sweetheart. Yeah. Do you have a hanky on the desk, huh? Like I do. One second, I'll hand it right to you. There we go. Thank you. Here, Rumpa. All right, so voice now we did. Well, so we have one call so far. And that's voicemail. Yes. And then you did, do you want to mark and Bob down as receiving? Call. Yep, that would be two calls. Okay. Exercise All right, let me grab the contact folder and we'll go from there. Or do you want to go through your contacts on your phone today? Watching the TV was a waste What do you time. mean by that? Do you want to go through yeah, the contacts in your phone and see if we haven't called anybody in your phone so instead of going to the list? I, I would, uh, right after we finish the contact folder. Okay. All right. Hang on. $25 Let me just grab it. Are we done recording? Uh, uh, yes. All right. Thank you. Stop my recording real quick. Please enter your password. Then press. I'm sorry. You have two Good for you. voice messages. First voice message sent yesterday, Sunday, March 1st at 2 16 p.m. from George Lark Drury. Duration, 36 seconds. Hey, Glenn, George, George McDermott, I just uh, listened to you, and I just, uh, you know, uh, your eyesight, your ear, you are so blessed, and it's unbelievable that you take this in such good stride, and then, 
and then the following you know, that joke was pretty pretty wild. Uh, sorry, we couldn't connect you with me. I was listening to you, and next thing I know, it just died out. So, <laughs> if you give me a call when you get a chance, I appreciate it. God bless you. Hey, please. Day. Enjoy your journey. As a tone, record your reply to mailbox. George, then press pound. Uh, George, I appreciate your uh, commiseration from a friend of so many years. I'm trying to think back. When were we friends? When did we... Wasn't it 2000? Well, anyway, that was a lovely message of yours. Uh, things are getting pretty good. You're learning how to ambulate around the Happy House uh, 3. Uh, and it's a great satisfaction, so there's joy there. And then the rest of it is taken care of by Amanda. So we give thanks for Amanda. She takes care of the rest of it, honey. I would like to have you call me again. Could you do that, please? Call me again. Uh, and when you call me, just leave on the recorder every, the news, okay? I want to hear your news. Just leave it on the recorder, just the way you do your TV shows. Uh, why was the teacher angry at the owl? He didn't give a hoop. To send your message, press pound. Please press pound. Please press pound. To send your message, press pound. To review, press pound. Thank you. Your message has been sent. To erase this message, press 7. To send a reply message, press 8. May you erase it again? press 9. to my friend Amanda who was making world a difference to me in my blind world. You did know that I lost all vision, didn't you, dear? And I'm able to ambulate around the uh, Happy House 3 uh, rather successfully and it brings great joy. And then the other thing is Amanda takes care of everything else. Amanda, this is my friend Marion. Marion, this is Amanda. Hi, Marion. So the shows are Monday through Friday and it's going to be 6.41 p.m. 6.51 p.m. Monday, 6, 6.41 Monday, tonight. Um, 6.51 p.m. Tuesday. 6.56 p.m. Wednesday. 6.56 p.m. again, and then 6.41. Thursday and Friday. I am so thrilled that you're going to do that. You and Tom are really nice to do that. Thank you. Why was the teacher angry at the owl? He didn't give a hoop. Yes, please erase. Message erased. End of new messages. To listen to your messages, press 1. To send a message, press 2. To change your personal options, press 4. To disconnect, press star. Thank you. And no, I pressed 4. <clears throat> I'm just going to growl at it today, Bunny, because <laughs> it's just, just the thing to do today. Just growl at it. Please enter your password. <laughs> and press <laughs>
greeting, press 3. To it, your greeting has been recorded as... Uh, folks, the adjustment to no eyesight uh, progresses. Here we go, babe. Uh, at the tone, record your greeting. At the end of your greeting, press pound. Hi, everybody. We're getting better and better at maneuvering around the Happy House 3 with a walker and no sight. No sight. Just close your eyes for six minutes. Put a blindfold over and walk around your house and you'll find out how good you can get at that. Now, uh, who is bigger? Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? Mr. Bigger's baby because he's just a little bigger. So we did how many calls so far? We did two? Well, voicemail, uh, McDermott, uh, was there another one? Uh, Rue Kaiser, I mean uh, Marion, was there another? I think that's it, babe. We only had three so far. Yeah, no, my conscience has asked me to go from ten calls to fifteen. Do you mind? No. Okay. We're on number four. Yep. And uh, is there anybody you want to call? Uh, Sandy, yes. Uh, call Blakeman Mobile. Number four, Blakeman Mobile. And it's Blakeman, you said? Blakeman, yeah, B L A K E. Mobile. Thanks, Amanda. No problem, buddy. I need to go check on the laundry. I need to go see if I can put the laundry in yet. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five one eight eight nine four seven three three eight is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Uh, Sandra is Glendora. I do like the soup, and Amanda heated it this morning, and I finished it. I do like the soup. Now, honey, remember that Glendora is right here. Anytime you want to pick up the phone and tell her about your great and wonderful progress, or anytime you want any encouragement and know that you have the strength of a friend, just do it, hon. Uh, I think the joke that you should tell for the children when you get back to school is Mr. Bigger. Who is bigger, Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? Mr. Bigger's baby, he's just a little bigger. Remember, I'm here, standing beside you. Anything you want to tell, just call. Grace and peace. That's four, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Can you think of any of that? Uh, call Casey, mobile, mobile. Hey, Google. Call Casey, mobile, mobile. Please. Calling Casey, mobile, mobile. Speaker, Glenny. It's all right, I got it. This is number five. Mm hmm Uh, Sue, uh, Glendora, uh, Franklin's 
checks have all come down from heaven, and uh, we have written on the back of them all for deposit only. Uh, and Amanda took them right straight to the post office this morning at 8 o'clock or 8.30 or so. So that's well in hand. And in the pocket there's a, a $202 thanks to your uh, work at the ATM. So we are on the watch and everything is under control. Do you know who is bigger, Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? Mr. Bigger's baby, he's just a little bigger. We're on number six. Mm -hmm. Tracy Pratt. Please. Mm -hmm. Number six, Tracy Pratt. Again, Tracy, thank you for uh, uh, getting back to me when you were under duress, if you were. The uh, blindness is uh, really blind, I mean, nothing. And uh, But the progress of going around the happy house with the uh, uh, walker, it's very good. And Amanda is taking care of all the rest. Uh, when you get a chance, would you call Glendora? and tell her the balance and she'll tell you what happened to the crashing of the bank account. Thank you. All right, who's next? Uh, would this be seven? Uh, this is seven. Nichols. Nichols? Yeah, as in nickels and dimes. Nichols, N C H O N I C, honey. N I C. Would you say it aloud? Call Nichols. Hey, Google. Yeah. Call Nichols, please. Thank you. Thank you. Calling Nichols, mobile. Glendora. Hi, Glendora. Uh, you sound good, Pat. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, fine. I'm getting around thanks to your walk around Happy House 3 and doing better and better at it. And that's a great triumph. That's a great joy. And um, uh, Amanda is taking care of the rest. Is she? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's taking care of everything. She's got the work up to date four days in a row, and that's the first time since May. Must be very efficient. Oh, she is. She's very efficient. Uh, we hear good news uh, through uh, Cliff about Richard. Yeah, Richard is doing better. Yeah, yeah. We hear good news about him, so this is good. Yeah, good. Now, yeah. how's how's my dear Pat doing? I'm doing fine. I'm you, doing fine. Yeah, you're getting used to it up there in the hill. <laughs> yeah, I, I. It's it's very quiet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but, I, you know, I've got, I've always got places to go and things to do and, you know, doctor appointments to make, you know. For yeah, Richard right. And, right. And, you, and, and come and I'm see. And, yeah, and come and see Blenny. Yeah, I'm going to come and see you. I will, I promise. You need a dog, I'm, Pat. I think you need a dog. Well, I had Eva here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, she loves, yeah, she loves you. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, 
Oh, yes, she is. She is. Uh, who is bigger, Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Bigger. Yo, no, Mr. Bigger's baby, because he's just a little bigger. He's a little bigger. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you met Amanda? Amanda, this is Pat. Pat, this is Amanda. Hi, Pat. How are you? Hi, Amanda. Thank you for helping Glendora. No problem. That's what I'm here for. I'll talk to you soon, Pat. Okay. Thanks, Glendora. Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. You said this was seven? This is eight, baby. Eight. Then we can go to our contacts. Mm-hmm. Bunny, I'm going to run over and see if I can throw the laundry in yet. Good idea. <clears throat> Thank you. Of course, because I want to be able to have... I want the laundry done before anything. You know what you do? Yeah. I just want it done! <laughs> the machines are available now? I hope so. I'm gonna go look. I hope so. I hope so, I hope so, I hope so. Alright, I'll be right back, Bunny. Okay. And then we'll return right to what we were doing. I'm sorry. Alright, babe, laundry is in. Uh, could you call Fitz? Oh, excuse mm -hmm. me, am I rushing you? Oh, just hang on one second, Bunny. You say call Fitz? Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Google, call Fitz, please. It's Glendora. Yes. Uh, you. I haven't heard from you for a long time. Uh, I've been busy. How do you feel? I feel fine. Who's bigger? Who is bigger, Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? I don't know. Mr. Bigger's baby, because he's a little bigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, I'm going to, uh, have you met Amanda? Amanda, this is Fitzy. Fitzy, this is Amanda. Hi. Hello. 
she's going to come over to your place around the end of the week, honey, and she'll bring you, is it $16 for the tie? Uh, 15. 15. She's going to bring you $15, hon? Yeah. I was going to try to run it over to you today if I could. Well, honey, uh, whatever you choose is fine. Whatever you choose is fine. You got change? Do you have change, like a five dollar bill? I have a five, yes. Yeah, okay. How's everything at church? Uh, good, good. Uh, Matthew, the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, chapter 7, verse 11. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Isn't that nice? How's our sister? How's your sister and husband? She's wonderful. She was out Friday. Yeah. They were out. Well, I, I've lost all eyesight, honey. I can see sometimes blotches of light coming through the window, but it's a blur. Oh, boy. Sometimes I can see black. But I'm doing great uh, maneuvering, ambulating around the happy house three here with a walk. I'm doing great. And I'm doing what uh, the doctor told your sister to do. Uh, you know, keep keep doing everything. And Amanda does the rest for me, hon. Oh, that's nice, you guys. Oh, it is wonderful. She's here from about 8.30 to 2. Wonderful. Yeah, it is. It's wonderful, hon. Okay, then we'll see you sometime. How's that? Yeah, I hope to get over it. Yeah. Uh, just hop but, in. But if you don't, it's okay. I think Amanda can do it at the end of the week. Okay. Okay, Fitzy. What you? Oh yeah, right. Yeah, we will call you. Okay. Okay, love. All right. Have they moved in? Anybody moved in or in uh, the bungalow? The. I don't know. You know the ones where the fifteen-year-old moved out. We have I mean, new, we have new tenants uh, next door here. I've never seen them. Have you, Amanda? No, I have not seen them yet. But <laughs> we can hear them yelling at each other through the wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> All is normal then. <laughs> Take care, dear. Okay, you too. Have a good day. Yeah. Bye, Fitzy. I love you. I love you too. Bye bye. Bye bye, hun. Uh. What was that number? That was number eight, so we're going on number nine. Okay, that would be uh, Hardy. Hardy, we're going to call Hardy? Yes, please. Hey, Google. Your turn. Right here in front of you, baby. Say, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Call Hardy. Watch your finger for a second, baby. Pick your finger up. Because remember, you can't press on that. Hang on. Go ahead and do it again. You got to say your hey, Google, and everything, got anybody? Hey, Google. Call Hardy. Calling Hardy. Work. There you go. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Five, one, eight, four. Is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. So I'm going to put full. <laughs> uh, no. This is number nine coming up, right, huh? This is ten. Okay, could you call Barbara W? Go ahead, say hey, Google, and all that. It will do it for you. Hey, Google! Call Barbara W? Calling Barb W. Mobile. Now go ahead and hit your button. Hi, Barbara. 
Rav W. Gundor, uh, can you come over Monday afternoon, this afternoon, for a couple hours and read to me? Uh, Eddie was here, he did a great job on the cars. Both of them are running in top shape. Uh, he was uh, very, very happy with the $281 that he was given, uh, but I think he was happier to get a second rock. He loved this rock that we gave him. Uh, who is bigger? Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? Mr. Bigger's baby, he's just a little bigger. I'm doing great ambulating around Happy House 3 with a walker, getting better and better at it. And uh, Amanda is uh, taking care of the rest in the mornings. So I'd like to see you at 2 p.m. this afternoon if you can make it. Grace and peace unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, who's next, Mama? Well, I guess we're into our contest, baby. So the next one is going to be Darlene. Well, didn't we just call Darlene? We left her voicemail yes, on we the 29th. Did. And uh, we've also got a paper on her, haven't we? We also have a number? Yep, I have a number for her. Do you have it in your... Uh, it's in the phone. For sure? Not I'm pretty sure it's in the phone. Would you check, please, Darlene? Of course. We'll try with Google first and then see what happens. Hey, Google, call Darlene, please. Who do you want to call? Darlene, please. See, it's not there. Sorry, who do you want to call? It's not there. Yeah, no. All right. Okay, no problem. All right, I'll put it in there. This is number 11, right? Um, yep, this was number 11. And we're calling her? Yes, please. And we're putting her in the phone, too. Mm -hmm. You can go to a button and just say add, add to contacts. Not that I can do it. But. for March. Do uh, you want to come over and pick it up? I would like that. I would like that because I'd like to see you. Uh, who is bigger? Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? Mr. Bigger's baby. He's just a little bigger. Uh, I'm doing fine ambulating around Happy House 3 here where you used to live when you were first married. And uh, Amanda is doing a great job uh, in the mornings getting all the TV work done, honey. Plus, plus the happy house work also. Take care. Call me, please. Come and see me, please. Uh, on the pay list, on the mm -hmm. payment, would you write uh, museum rent $50? Museum rent how many? Yeah, 50 and would you write Fitzy Tie 15? Where are we now? Number 12? Yep. Um, and we have next is Tammy. Tammy? Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, 
I think that's a, a checkoff because we called Tammy. Okay. So yeah. I'll check hers. Check it off. Is it scrap paper? Um, no, it's got a whole bunch of different numbers on it. Honey. And well, what's on the, on the other side check off? Uh, the other side we can use for scrap paper. Is it checked off? Yeah. Don't throw it away unless it's checked off. Huh? This is good. We must be doing very well on that folder. Chris LaBelle? Excuse Christine me. Christine LaBelle? Again? Christine LaBelle? LaBelle, we did that. Now, we have her phone list. Do we have her address? Mm, 47 Pine Street North. I think you better I think you better put that in file folder one, please. Mm-hmm. Because I know we did that call. Um S. Walden? Uh I don't know who that is. Five one eight five two seven eight one three seven? Yes, would you mind uh dialing it and that's number twelve. Yep. and today's date, which is 3-2. All right, channel 10 is the next one. Uh, before you do channel 10, would you get the number for Kinderhook Bank mm -hmm. and call them, see if we can get the balance, honey? Sue forgot to get a receipt out of the ATM. that noise. Do you hear it? It was weird. <laughs> hey Google. Can you find me the address for Kinderhook Bank please? Telephone number. I'll telephone number. And remember there'll be a red the address dot there. For community can... Bank. NA is one Hudson Street, Kinderhook, New York, one two one oh six. Telephone number. Mm-hmm. You can call Community Bank NA if Kinderhook branch. Please press one. Press two to be directed to the Auburn Bank customer service team. Kinderhook branch. Is that what I say? Mm -hmm. Well, hi, Amanda. How are you? Good. How are you? It's Glendora. Oh, okay, we don't know each other, huh? Could you connect me to the Kinderhook Bank, please, honey? In uh... This is Kinderhook. I know you. You're the one who tells us jokes every time we see you. Oh, I want you to meet my Amanda, who helps me all day long. Amanda, this is Amanda. Amanda, this is Amanda. <laughs> well, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Is Tracy there, honey? Uh, she's not great. Tracy's not great right now. Uh, Amanda, who is bigger, Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? Um, Mr. Bigger? No, Mr. Bigger's baby, he's just a little bigger. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> honey, will, will you tell me my balance, please, honey? Do you have your account number? No, I don't. Okay, how do you spell your last name? B-U-E-L-L. -L. B boy, U E L L. All right, you have one hundred four dollars and seventy cents. Thanks, hon. You are welcome. You have a great day. My real name is Gina Lola Brigida. Gina Laura Bridgeta? Yeah, Gina Lola Bridgeta. Take care, honey. <laughs> All right. 
Brian have a good day. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> that would be 13, right? Um, <laughs> that was 13. <laughs> I love you so much, Clay. You hear people going, and they're like, what? Like, what did she say? So we only have $104 there, honey. Oh, man. But at least we got, and we kept it open anyway. Yeah, at least it stayed open for you. Well, this is good. If we're very careful in the next few days, we'll make it. All right, so... Number 14. Who do you want to call? You want to call Maddie? Because she's our next on our list. Uh, what time is it? It is... Hang on one second. I'll be able to tell you. It is 11.41. She oh, should sure. be She's at done. work. Uh, now, what, what is that? A piece of paper? Yeah. It what? has Maddie's address and her email and everything on it, honey. Uh, I would say call Maddie, but, but put Maddie's address in the thing folder one. All right. Okay. Hey, Google. Call Maddie. Uh, call Matt Chapin. Sorry, who do you want to call? Call Matt Chapin. Calling Matt Chapin, mobile. There we go, beautiful, right in front of you. And that's 14. One more after this. Really? Yeah. And did you put that in a in Think Photo One, hun? Uh, Hi, how are you, honey? I'm good, Glenny. How are you? Good. Are you? Uh, how's your kidney? My kidney's good. No pain, no bloody urine, nothing. Oh, this is good. So, uh -huh. is the mission accomplished that you went there for? Yes, mission accomplished. I've been reading what an MRI is. Oh, okay. It's a it's a super uh, conductor. They take a metal like um, like nitrogen, and uh -huh. then then they cool it to zero degrees Kelvin, uh -huh. and that takes out all of the resistance, and the current goes around and around and around and around forever with no wow. res for no resistance, and so that's uh -huh. what that's what operates a uh, the mag uh -huh. the magnetic resonator Res resonating image. Image, that's right. Yeah. Magnetic what is resonating image. Yeah, uh, what, a wonderful book came through from the audio books, New York State, and told I'm me glad. all about it. I loved it. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, did you get rid of the fever blisters? They're still there, but they're going away slowly. Yeah. Your, uh, still there. The second computer came in from uh, yeah. Oregon today. Oh, good. So okay. you'll, you'll be getting yours back soon. Thank you, Glenny. Uh, okay, what else is going on? I just got a call from a lawyer. We have a closing date on Friday, March 6th. <laughs> oh, oh, yay! Oh, boy, have we worked hard for that. Yes, we have. Absolutely. Now, honey, I'm going to give you your cookies. I am not going to the bank or anywhere else here. Oh, Glenn, that's sad to me. Yeah, I know it's sad, but you just put a blindfold on under your eyes for six minutes and walk around the house, and you, you get the idea. Well, I understand that you can't see, but it still stands for well. <laughs> Yeah, it is, but I have your vegan cookies, so. Okay. All right. Well, I have to go tomorrow, of course, to, uh, no, actually, I don't have to go tomorrow, but I will go tomorrow for you if you'd like. Well, here's, um, here's what happened, honey. Uh, the three chicks, uh, Franklin, sit down from heaven. A, uh -huh. man, a man wrote on each one for deposit only, and uh -huh. then she took them straight to the post office this morning. Oh, okay. So I don't so think... Then you don't even need me to go. Yeah, I think that's a, that's what it amounts to. Okay, well, that's that's fine. Are you going to be without bagels or anything? No, no, I actually am good for another week. Oh, you are? Uh-huh. Well, this is good, so you don't have to make I, a special trip. Right. Someday, when you're up around it's Albany... Friday. Uh, when, you're, when you're up around Albany, will you go to uh, Whole Foods and call mm -hmm. Glenny up and tell, him, tell Glenny what they've got for vegan dishes? Oh, so you're not even going to go back to that with me either? Uh, well, here's how that's, I think that's going to shape up. She's finally given us a date, March the 30th, uh, 20th. Uh -huh. uh, that's a Friday, isn't it? Right. Yeah, I think so. Marcia I don't know. Her uh, and I'm going to ask her if she will come here and we'll give her a vegan meal. Okay. Well, 
Oh, well, that's up to you. Can you come? Uh, I'll try. Uh, what, are you never going to leave your house again? Well, you know, who knows? But at this moment, honey, I think the wisest thing is to stay right here. It's all I can handle to, to you know, to manipulate this house. It's awful. It's awful not to be, you can't see a thing. I know it's awful, Glendora. That's why I'd like you to see a doctor. <laughs> I can't see because I can't see a doctor. How's that? <laughs> I can't even see spots before my eyes. I know that, Glenn. I, I hate to think that you're absolutely blind when it, there's a possibility that you don't need to be. Honey, look, when you're when you're 91 and three quarters old, uh, I think it's pretty obvious what's going on. No, it's not. That's just what you've told yourself. Oh, I see. Okay. No, you don't right. really know. No. All right, Glendora. Do you know how great a job Amanda's doing? I, I'm assuming she's doing a good job. She always yeah. does. The Lincoln total on the cost on the Lincoln has been 800. Yeah. That's not cheap. No, it isn't. But we're doing fine. Good. We're doing just Good. fine. The Lincoln is in top condition. What did he put in it, Amanda? He did a whole new oil change and oil lube and filter. Oh, okay. <laughs> And then he, what was the serpentine and the... Oh, uh, yeah, the serpentine belt, yeah. Serpentine belt, and he had to put a new air filter in it because we had a mousy friend living in there. Oh, boy. Mm, that's no good. No, so now, <laughs> now when I turn the heat on, that's what I smell for a little while is mousy, but I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I lose this heat. I don't care. Oh, I feel terrible yeah, about I... that. I feel, I didn't know that. That's all right, Glenn. Oh, good. I feel terrible about it. <laughs> well, did they find the nest, Amanda? Yeah, he got it out. The mouse and everything is already out. It's just it smells from him. Oh, oh out. the mouse is okay. Oh yeah, he was he was gone, buddy. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Madeline, we have Mr. and Mrs. Mallet Duck and a baby. Oh, where? Uh, at the uh, Malaysia Kill. Oh, you mean behind the house? Wonderful. Yeah, behind the garage. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Yeah. Who is bigger, Mr. Bigger or Mr. Bigger's baby? I don't know. Mr. Bigger's baby, he's a little bigger. <laughs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> Congratulations on your closing Thank date, you, March 6th. Thank you. Well, let's see what happens on Friday, March 6th. Yeah, I'll keep Hopefully in touch. Everybody shows up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey, take care. All right, honey, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. You, you have one more, honey? Huh? One more, baby, that's all. And is it a paper? Send feedback. No. Oh, search. Stop it. Um, hang on one second, buddy. I've got to look in our folder real quick. I know we had one more that I had pulled out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've done a good job on that folder. <laughs> I try. Um, so we have... Charter, 518-866-456-8500. Yes, would you try that, please? Of course I can, my love. Charter is not in here. Okay. 
then don't put that number in because it's wrong, right? Yeah, it's not right. No, is that scrap paper? Mm-hmm. Did you check it off on the back? I am doing that right now, Lynn. All right, now I just got it for a little pile. Um, what about David Keener? We're done, honey, aren't we? We have one more. Oh, we do? Mm hmm Uh, yes, I would like to call. He's in your uh, contacts, honey. Mm hmm It's Keegan. I have it wrong. It's Keegan. Keegan? Mm hmm It's in your contacts. And what is C or K? K. Okay. K E E G A N. No, K E E N A N. Okay, leave that for tomorrow, please. We'll try it again tomorrow. Okay. All right, so that's that. Can I feel that folder to see if it's getting thinner? Oops. Um. Stop our recording because we've been recording the whole time, right? Like. <laughs> yep, that was good. Thank you. Bye, recording. Good morning, guys. We're doing voicemail. Delete. To erase this message. Message erased. 
Next message. Sent yesterday, Monday, March 2nd at 6.27 p.m. from 518766641152. Duration, 15 seconds. Hi, Glendora. This is Marion Reisdorf calling and letting you know that I taped both the 6 o'clock and the 6.30 news tonight. Oh, thank you, Marion. End of message. To erase this message, press 7. To send a reply message, press 8. To save it, press 9. Delete To hear more of, message erased. End of new messages. To listen to your messages, press 1. To send a message, press 2. To change your personal options, press 4. To disconnect, press the personal option. To change administrative options, press 2. To record greetings, press 3. For pager notifications, greetings. To change your personal greeting, press 1. To create your, to select a standard greeting with your telephone number, press 1. To select a standard greeting with your name, press 2. Personal greeting, press 3. To X, your greeting has been recorded as... Ready, buddy? Uh, everybody, this is Glendora. The teacher said use the word bewitches in a sentence. Boy, you guys go ahead. I'll be witches in a minute. If you are satisfied with your greeting, press pound. Let's call like Tracy Pratt first. Your... Personal Here, we're going to say, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Google, get out of bed. Sorry, I don't recognize that device. <laughs> Please use your device name. Hey, Google. Okay. Hey, Google. Call Tracy Pratt, please. Tracy Pratt is not available. Record your message after the tone. When you've finished, you can hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi Tracy, we did exactly what you told us to do. When the three checks came in, we marked them uh, for deposit only, and they put them in an 8x10 envelope to you. And that was, and then Amanda went right up to the post office and mailed them at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, even though we only have one pickup a day, and that's at 5 o'clock. And so I was wondering if you would call me to see if you received the checks, uh, if they are deposited. And what is available, please? Uh, do you know that the gossip alone you hear in a beauty shop is enough to curl your hair? <laughs> okay, let's call Marion Reitzdorf. This would be call number three. And there's Marion? Marion R. It's called Marion R. Call Marion R. Hey, Google, call Marion R. She's working so nice. Can you get out the times from uh, Channel 6 and read them again to Marion? Won't you hold this? Yeah, I'm going to hand you your phone. Give me one second. That was so nice of you to take the news last night. Yes, I got it. It was, um, I've got that. You wanted it for every day this week? No, I'm going to give you the times exactly. Are you ready tonight? It is. Hang on one second, I'm going to get a paper, okay? Okay, honey. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Have you met uh, Have you met Amanda, my helper? I have not. Okay. Amanda, this is Mary and R. Hi, Mary Ann. Hi, Amanda. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? <laughs> okay, Hi. Amanda. Go ahead, honey. Tuesday night. Hang on one second, Bunny. I'm trying to find it real quick, babe. Oh, okay. Uh, the teacher said... Are you with me, Marion? I'm here. Yeah, the teacher said, use the word bewitches in a sentence. And the boy said, use guys, go ahead, I'll be witches in a minute. Where did my paper go? Could you repeat that a minute? I, I didn't hear it. Uh, teacher, use the word bewitches in a sentence. Boy, use guys, go ahead, I'll be witches in a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's Amanda's favorite too. That is my favorite. Okay, she's she's hunting for the. Uh, All right, so the first showing is going to be Monday. Yeah, we did Monday, honey. Now we're up to Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday is 6:41 p.m. 6:41. 6:51. 6 Wait a second, is that Wednesday? Uh, they they're all they're all the same showings on the same exact day, Glennie. It just runs from numerous times they're gonna run. Uh, so okay. the times they're showing. Uh, Tuesday night is 6.41. You got that, huh? Got it, yeah. Okay, what is Wednesday? 6.51. 6.51. What is Thursday is 6.56. 6.56 for Thursday. Friday is 6.56. Okay. And Friday is 6.56. 6.56. Now, that's all on Channel 6, right? Yeah, that's Channel 6. Okay. Well, that's wonderful and you do that. Okay, I've got it, I'll play them all back to you at one time, how's that? Yes, that's wonderful. That I, You don't know what a friend you are. Well, I'm doing the best I can. I'm, I'm not real techie, but Tom helps me. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Tom. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Take, well, I won't get them all. Take okay. care, take care, honey. Very good to hear from you, Blondora. Always from you, dear. Yes, bye-bye, dear. Bye, Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, hon. So long. Let's go for Sandy Blakeman. Hey, Google. Call Blakeman Mobile. And that's four. Oh, I could do this. Hang on, baby. Hey, Google. There aren't any. Hang on. Go ahead, baby. Carabas Italian Grill. Here I go. Hey, Google. Call Blakeman. Mobile. Mobile. Please. This is number five. Right? Number four. Yeah. Remember your speaker, baby. Well, it could be she's not connected. Cause she, oh. Plumbing and heating. Okay, thank you. Oh, All right, Sandy Blakeman. That was weird. Yeah, it's a weird. But what else do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try calling Blakeman's actual number? I'll just we won't do it through Google. I'll just put it on there. You mean her, her mobile number? Yeah. Yes, please. Because that was weird. <laughs> that ain't never happened before. <laughs> We live in a weird world. We do. And we're the ones who make it weird. Yeah. Definitely true on that one. Does Maddie look all right? She looks better. There you go. Did she look bad? Uh, she had a, with the... Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five, one, eight. 
Now this is normal. Nine, four, mm -hmm. seven, three, three, eight, you can't get anybody. That's what's normal. See? The tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Sandy, it's Glendora. I send you support and strength and remembering uh, what a good person you are and that this is not for you what you're doing. This is for the universe and the universe is pleased with you. So uh, you'll do the best job that you can and uh, we will all applaud you and we are sending you uh, pulses of vigor and infusion and help. Bye Sandy, we're right here for you. Call us anytime. Was there anybody else to call? Um, I don't think so. We got everybody, didn't we? Yep. Okay. So you want to go to our contacts? Yep. All right. Let's. Well, see. can you think of anybody else we should call? Um, you want? Uh, shall I call Maddie and thank her for the milk she didn't want? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't worry about that because I'm the one that gave it to you. Okay. Uh, should we call Maureen? No, nope, we took care of that. Uh, I mean, we've got everybody in our contacts list. We've called everybody in our contacts list. Okay. So let's head for the uh, pretty folder. You want to go for the folder? Mm. Well, that's what I meant. We pretty much called everybody in that folder. Good. That's good news. Yeah. No, but the actual con contact lists were coming to next. These were the ones outside the contact list. All right. So. Ouch. Would you call the? Uh, hey Google. Call East Green Bush Library. So that's five. That's, that's five? Mm hmm No, honey. Sandy Blakeman was five. No, Sandy Blakeman was four. No, Marion R. was four. Well, we have voicemail, then Tracy, then Marion R., then Sandy, and then we just did East Green Bush. That's five. So far. Yeah. Press seven. For library hours, press four. two. For children and teen services, press three. Oh, it hits. Try again, would you? Yeah, I just gotta wait for it to go back. Go to four. Community Library Police. Calling East Greenbush Police Department. No! <laughs> you know why they did that? Because they said please. And they thought it was police. Isn't that funny? Yes. <laughs> hey, Google. Hey, Google. Want me to hang up? Call the East Greenbush Library, please. Thank you. <laughs> Not the police. <laughs> Hang on one second, buddy. I gotta press four for you. Is this reference? Yes, this is the reference. May I help you? Oh, hi, reference. It's Glendora. You have a... T How are you, hon? Uh, you have a tutorial this afternoon for the uh, computer phone? Um, Tuesday tech time is today from 4 till 6. Unfortunately, it's not a tutorial. 
Oh, okay. Well, that's better. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Oh, yeah. My friend Amanda is coming. Amanda is coming this afternoon. Great. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We are great to do that, to give that to the community. Oh, we okay. need that. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Thank you. I have a joke for you. The teacher said, use the word bewitches in a sentence. And the boy said, you guys go ahead. I'll be witches in a minute. Very nice. <laughs> Take care, honey. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Very nice. So you're all set for that, huh? All right. Sounds good to me. Now you know how to get there, huh? Mm-hmm. I do. All right. So next we are going... 518-527-8139. Uh, or 37. And who is that, huh? Um, S. Wild. Why, S. Wild. Oh, S. Wild? Mm -hmm. She's so sick. She may, may have left us, but would you please call her? Mm -hmm. She's so sick with cancer. Yes, we she called up to go to the Glendora Vegetarian Club. We never made it. Okay, honey. Uh, would you write on it uh, the date and restrictions on the line? Mm hmm I'm afraid she's lost it. Oh, that's so sad. It is. My dad had cancer, and after five years he was pronounced cured. Yeah? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? That is wonderful, honey. They took out all the glands in his neck, kept oh, it from spreading, and they drained it down here, and they got it. It started in his tongue. Mike Walmer? Uh, yes. Uh, 518-653-1777? Please do, so. All right, let me see your phone then. Oh. <laughs> okay. Magical phone, dial for me. <laughs> well, someday. So I know, right? Someday. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hi, it's Glendora. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Are oh, you busy? Busy? Good? Making money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, got any news to tell me, huh? Oh, you can, huh? Yeah. Well, try, keep trying, can you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I have bad news for you. I lost all my eyesight. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh huh. But I got a helper here, and she's getting me through everything. That's good. Yeah. So, uh, I got a joke for you. Okay. The teacher said, use the word bewitches in a sentence, and the boy says, you guys go ahead. I'll be witches in a minute. Take care, hon. Keep me in mind. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, or would you write the date on that and say, keep me in mind? Of course, baby. So we're at eight. Are we really? Yep, because you called um, C S Wild, and then we just called them Mike. What's Mike's last name? Walmart. Wal Wal Walmart. Walmart. Oh, he works for Walmart. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I know who he is. He was a tutor. He came up and tutored me. Uh, he's the Walmart Hudson. All right. Now, 
why don't you put him in the uh, Mike Walmart, put him into the contacts on the phone, and then we can uh, use that for scrap paper. Want to? Sure. All right. So let me see your phone. I'll put Mike in there. What'd you do with Wilder? Put her on the bottom of the list? I did, and I put restrict restrictions on her, honey, and everything. Thank you. Can I see your phone, babe? So I can put Mike in there for you? Yes, please. You want me to pack you lunch when you go out of town to East Greenbush? <laughs> no, you're okay, buddy. <laughs> All right, so the next is going to be Bean. Uh, okay, how you spell that? B-E-A-N. Mm -hmm. One, seven, one, eight, two, seven, seven, three, one, six, seven. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, keep him on top, honey. It's a DA. DA mm -hmm. means don't answer. And then we have R Riddle, R-I-T-A-L. Hey, Google, call Riddle, please. Speaker good. Over. There you go. in a sentence. Boy, you guys go ahead. I'll be witches in a minute. Grace and peace unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Then I have Richard S. Uh, for Anthony Riddle, uh, you can that can go to scrap paper, honey. Okay. Now, Richard S., Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And what's his uh, number? 518-965-1790. Uh, Which it is. Would you please dial it for Gwenny? Of course they are. Hey, Google! Excuse me, I didn't mean to do this. No, you're fine, babe. Are you hungry? You talking to me? Yeah. Why, am I chewing my nails or something? No, I'm hearing your belly go. Oh, that, you, that wasn't Glenny. That then, was you. Oh, it was me? <laughs> okay, right, BL, put it on the bottom, and put it, keep it on top. M-A-R-I-O-N. Marion. 518-610-8616. Uh, dial it if you would, please. Of course. Let me take your phone real quick for you, buddy. I wonder if that's Marion or... Here you go, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? 
Glendora here. Grace and peace. All right. Uh, just put on silence, okay? Keep it on top. All right, so next is Raini, 707-781-7749. Uh, and it's, it, does it tell you who it Amy's? No, just Amy. I think you can make that into scrap paper. Okay. Because you have their email, remember? Mm -hmm. And you also made a nice video of it, you remember that? Okay. What kitty cat do you have today? We have a kitty that has an American flag with him today. <laughs> um, and then we're back to T E R R I Ken Kenzel Kenzel five one eight five eight eight seven three two five. Try it. All right, you gotta, hear, gotta hand me your phone, baby. done a great job in these contacts. Next we have Debbie. Betty, uh, okay, and what number is that, please? Because it says Blake, is, I dialed the number and it said Blakeman, but it says Debbie on here. Really? Yeah. I would, if I were you, I would put it into a recycle. All right. Well, what time is it, dear? The time is 11 a.m. Oh, Early okay. Early reminder. Thank you, dear. <laughs> um, what about no Norma? Uh, could you dial it, please? Yeah. There you go. Glendora? It's Esther. Hi, Esther. How are you, dear? Good. How are you, Glendora? Oh, very good. Uh, and how's your mommy? She's doing better. She might be able to go back to the day break program. She's yeah, yeah. Is, isn't she a wonder, Esther? She's a wonder. When is Naomi coming? When is Naomi coming? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, would you remind your dear sister and uh, Glenn to record the uh, commercial tonight? 
Oh, sure. Okay, do you want the time of it, dear? Yes, please. 6.41? Yep. 6.41 p.m. On uh, what station? Today is Tuesday, honey. Uh, no, what, what channel? Six. Channel 6, sweetie. Let me write that down. Yes. Yeah. Six. Make that Naomi and Cinnamon. 641 p.m. Channel 6 tonight. 641 p.m. Okay, I'll tell Gloria. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye, dear Esther. Stay out of the U.S. Army. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. She joined, she got mad one day at somebody. She went and joined the army. Really? Yeah, and dragged in her little sister. Uh -huh. they were both in there for, the little sister was in there for five years. All right, I'm looking for our next one. Going so in. you put Naomi there? Yep. Would you put, no, not Naomi. Would you put Esther, E-S-T-H-E-R? You got it. And that number in, hun, and then throw away or recycle. Now it came up Ginny Palmer. You want to call Ginny? Uh, sure, I do. Sure, I'd love to. All right. We must be pretty much through here. We have two more left. We're on 14 now. Once we call Ginny, and then we got one more after Ginny. Boy, we're a whiz. <laughs> All right, so let me see your phone, baby, so I can dial Ginny for you. Uh, yeah. Do you have her in there? Yeah. Hey, Google, call Ginny. Jennifer Yonkers? No, Ginny. Oh, hi, hello. Who is it? I'm Gundora. Who are you? I'm Gundora. Oh, is it my dear, uh, Oyala? Yeah, it's Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much for that email, darling. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, you mean Jennifer and Yonkers, right? Yeah. Yeah, we finally got through to, uh, Sue Hayward, didn't we? Yes. And now you have the right address, right? Well, you, you know, you didn't write the address on the application. I sent you, uh, what yes, did? It doesn't have, the, doesn't have the address on it. Oh, okay. It's 10 North Main Street. Hold on a second. 10 North, North Main Street. Uh, okay. pig, pig skill, 10506. Okay. I'm sorry that I didn't do that, Jennifer. Oh, that's okay. Say again? I said it's okay. Oh, okay. Thank you for taking care of that. You're welcome. We got any other problems? <laughs> Uh, Jennifer, I lost all my eyesight. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear from Dora. Yeah, yeah. But I have Amanda here. Want to meet Amanda? Amanda, this is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Hi, Amanda. And she takes care of everything for me, hon. Okay, awesome. Yeah, awesome. I was able to make 185 uh, programs for TV, including yours, was just by memory and by uh, touch. Wow. Yeah, I was, I was amazed. Listen, is there anything I can do for you? No, that's it. Yeah, how are things down there? They're pretty good. Yeah, that's good. How, how are things in Litchfield? They're good. Okay. All right, take care, hon. Okay, talk to you soon. Yes, my pleasure. Bye-bye. Now we can call. <laughs> Let me see your phone and I'll call. I'll dial J. <laughs> I'll dial her number. Well, sometimes wrong numbers are the best calls. They are. All right, there's Jenny for your baby. <laughs> and that was it. Jenny is our last one. Goody, good. How many do we have left? Boy, you can't tell until you get down to 
I think that we've done. I'm we've gonna, literally gone through the whole uh, list. I think we've done. Would you put a big clip on that, honey? Of course. Yeah, if you've done Ginny, you've gone through the whole list. Then we're going to start the main list. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, dear Ginny. Ronnie is looking forward to seeing you, and she has a copy of uh, your uh, program to show you, dear. Okay. Teacher, use the word bewitches in a sentence. Boy, you guys go ahead. I'll be witches in a minute. <laughs> She's using my... That's good. Now, did you put a big clip on that? I put a big one. Oh, here, you want to feel it? I put a big one. Yeah, I, I would like to see it. That's good. Those are the ones we did. These are the ones we did. Do you know you did them? We did them all. They all got check marks on them. Every single one I've done. And every... now, now we'll start alphabetically on the list tomorrow. See? Okay. See the list here? What list, they? There's supposed to be a list with a clip on it. Do you see it anywhere? Mm. Is this it? Maybe. Okay. I don't see phone numbers in there, though. It says FCC. Done. Okay, we'll figure it out tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you for so doing that. Phone calls are done. I'm going to go feed our animals real quick, and then I'll come yeah. back in. And is it all right with you if I call my friend Pat? Go ahead. Okay, well, thanks. Well, I... You'll see if I can get her. Hey, Google, call Nichols. Oh, you got to hit your speaker. Pat, don't hang up on her. Oh, right over this way. Tap it. Tap. There you go. <laughs> Let's see if we go to the first time. Yep. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm going to put our contacts back in. Hello? Hey, Pat. Hi, dear Pat. Uh, our friend Sandy is in Manhattan today. She is. Yeah, she's given she's given a demonstration to other Montessori teachers. Oh, good for her. Yeah, so I call up every I call up every hour or two and give her support and tell her she's doing great. I'll be back in. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, call voicemail. Hey Google, call voicemail please. Hey Google. Call voicemail. She don't. Did you have a good night's sleep? Without your eyes, and the great joy is having my helper 
Amanda, who takes care of everything else. Uh, all right. uh, why did Santa Claus have three gardens? So he could hold, hold, hold. For archives, I think it's ten through sixteen. If you are uh, satisfied yeah. with your greeting, so, press down. Personal yeah, through, uh, that went fast today. We literally had one voicemail today, buddy. Well, that's what you're so good at keeping things cleaned up. <laughs> this is the way it should go. Yeah, it gets better and better so every day. It does, buddy. It sure does. Okay. All right, so let's do our 15 calls. What do you want to... How about we go through your phone today? Uh, yes, Try and yeah. see who... We haven't well, we're yet. coming to that, honey. Just as we finish the loose pages. Okay. Uh, can you think of anybody we should call? Uh, yeah, let's we call Sandy. Away, so. Hey, Google. Call Blakeman Mobile, please. And we're all done with the electronics bench? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Until next Tuesday, isn't that good? That's it, so, yeah. Uh, okay, the... Uh, yeah, so, Sandy. We have two calls so far. Shopping. Ah, is it grocery shopping? 
I don't think so. Okay. It's well, just five two five one nine five three nine eight. Yeah, that's a, that woman will actually take it from me if you can't see. All right, now um, put that, please, on the bottom of the pile. Okay. Uh, the contacts. All right, you got it. And now, would you call Walmart right now uh, and order some groceries? Of course we can. Okay, man. Uh, did that paper say groceries or did it just say? It says Walmart shopping. Uh -huh. No groceries. No right? groceries. Yeah. Okay, dear. All right. So we want to call Walmart and do a grocery list. Yes, please. All right. <sighs> The time is 10 a.m. Hourly reminder. You're a sweetie pie. <laughs> I can go online and do that if you want me to do oh, that. Oh, that's what I meant to do, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know if you no, meant I'm like... sorry, I didn't make it clear. <laughs> it's all right, Glenn, you don't have to be sorry. All right, so how about we finish everything up with the phone first? Okay. And then I'll do the Walmart. Okay. So I'm not, like, sidetracking myself here a little bit. I'll leave this out and set this over here on my desk so I can make the shopping list out and call Walmart and order it. Um... Leo LaBelle? LaBelle? Yeah, LaBelle. Uh, and is it his address? It's his phone number and his address. His phone number is in your contact, so therefore his address can go in... Addresses? No, in the uh, think folder one. Alright. Alright, so that's in think folder one. Hey. Oh, come on. I put one paper in you and you gotta mess up the rest. Folder one. All right. So now we are on. Where to contact? Yep. Um, Miller, Miller, Rise. Well, try spelling. What's the number? Uh, five one eight two seven four. 0701. I would just dial it. Good morning, and thank you for calling the Independent Living Country New York Oh, hi, how are you? Good. Uh, now, um, do you have dues or anything like that? Do you have to pay money? I'm sorry, do you have what? Dues, uh, membership fees or anything like that? We don't. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Are you sponsored by the state or? Oh, uh, yeah, we're, um, we're a non-profit organization. Oh, okay, are you like, uh? What do they used to call that? Community chest or red feather? Or, or? No, we uh, we provide a variety of services to people. Um, we provide uh, services to people. Oh, okay. And uh, and you take donations, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Um, 
you have given me a magazine that I thank you for. How often does that magazine come out? I'm not sure. Okay. I think monthly. Yeah, monthly. Uh huh. I've never read it. Uh huh. Do you uh, do you have anybody who can come to my house and read to me? Um, we don't. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen. Thank you for the good that you're doing the world. Yeah. No. We appreciate. Yeah, we appreciate your good work. Appreciate your good work. Oh, I'll tell you a joke for today. Are you ready? Sure. Uh, computers are in the Bible. Eve said to Adam, do you want an apple too? That's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you, and what is your name? Amanda. No. I've got three Amandas in my life. My helper sitting right here next to me is named Amanda. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Good luck to you. Thanks. Bye-bye. So now, uh, do you have that number in your call list, honey? Yes, we have it in the call list. I can take and pitch the, recycle the paper. Yes, because there's, no, uh, there's no address on it, is there? No. I would, yeah. You want me to recycle it for you, babe? Hang on, one second, babe. I'm just writing down where I'm, where I'm five now. And there have been good calls, too. One second, because I don't know where I just said it, baby. Oh, I hear the dog. Right in front of your face there, Randy. Hey, baby. Did you fold it? Oh, I did not fold it. Did you check off the other side? I did. Okay. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Am I putting it in the right place? You are putting it in the right place. I don't think so. I don't see any other papers. We don't have any other papers over there yet. Okay, sweetie. Um, Elaine? Elaine, okay. And anything else under it? Uh, Hen ha Harry or Henry? Eli ha Harry? Why don't we just dial? Okay. I'm guessing it's probably 518. Oh, I can't dial it, Lenny, because there's not uh, there's not complete numbers to it. There's only 951672. I'm missing a number. Mm-hmm. Can you give me Elaine, you said it is? I think E I L Eli, right? Uh, Henry? Yeah. Eli Henry? Uh. Okay, would you put it in the bottom, please? Of course. Richard S? Uh, yes, please. Disconnected or busy on them? Yes, but you have to keep it on top for tomorrow. Huh? 